Hello, and welcome back to New Week, New Game. It's another spooky edition, because we're still in the month of October. Unfortunately, I pressed a key and it's brought us to the brightness page. But today's game is Scorn. Scorn came out in 2022, and I remember seeing when it was coming out that this game just looked like a body horror mess and as beautifully designed as it looks I was like this is a game I'm not gonna play at all but I wound up being in a bundle at one point and in my Steam library and so when I was going through looking for horror games to play Scorn is in the horror library because it is a part of that genre and I thought, well, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time we play this disgusting game. The tags used on the Steam Store page for Scorn is gore, horror, atmospheric, puzzle, and first person. The description that it gives is that Scorn is an atmospheric first person horror adventure game set in a nightmarish universe of odd forms in somber tapestry. Now, I'm all cool for, like, creepy, kind of gross-looking type things, like Elden Ring, for instance, that has some creepy and gross-looking stuff in it. Uh, this has a lot of inspiration through the same type of artwork as J. Geiger, the person who did the, the stuff for Aliens. I forget what their name is. I'm trying to see if I can Google it. H.R. Geiger is designs. So it's got a lot of inspiration from that. I don't do this very often where I actually go and look for the thing while I'm recording. H.R. Uh, Geiger, who has done the designs for the Alien movies, and just the way the xenomorphs are designed, are uh, inspirations from that. Or at least, I don't know if like inspirations as much. This game is the inspirations. The, the aliens are drawn by H.R. Geiger. See, I've already forgotten everything. My mind can be terrible sometimes. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the game. I'm just gonna... Alright. And of course, there's no sound until I actually click on the game. Uh, I've been having issues with my controller, so we're gonna be mouse and keyboarding it up some reason it keeps wanting to lose connection just the brightness until the logo is barely visible i think i'm gonna do one more there we go so couldn't even read it so yeah you can see how grotesque this here is and we're gonna do a new game is that our character the veins, the design on everything. For being what it's supposed to be, it's designed very well. And this is where the eye just jumps open. <laughs> and there we go. This will probably get rated for adults, mature content only on my YouTube channel. Like uh, the Gladiator game that I played for New Year New Game. Rise. Son of Rome. Got a mature adult only rating. 
And this one's probably going to be right there with it, too. It's about finding where we're supposed to go. It's this big old thing. It's like a mixture of organic and metal, all meshed into one grotesque machine. And I gotta go into my settings. I want to turn this motion blur off can't stand motion blur. Alright. It's just like I can see it and I just kind of want to follow the blur and it messes with my eyes. It's this thing. chair, some desk, something there at that spiral. Maybe we get to go down there if we walk this direction. We have a run button. And what looks like a broken door. Doesn't look like we're going back that way. This. With that, we don't have a thing in our hand. Looks like a thing to put our fist in. So at some point, we'll probably have to fist that machine. What's this? a little spider-man thing but instead of shooting web we get one little claw now can we fist this Don't have a jump button. 
so I can't jump across that way. Looks like another door. So you can just move directions with them. What does it do exactly? I'm supposed to grab something from here and bring it down to the chair. And then drop it down. Alright, well. Guess we gotta figure out what's supposed to go in there. little tracks that are on here. It's just those three. I was hoping with the highlighted it would like highlight the chair. I more than likely have to put something in this chair. So let's get out of that. this big old thing that we were looking through okay and maybe we'll find something that goes in there try to check this door first there's a lot of different places to go doesn't unlock, which means we're going to need to have a second person of some kind. What's this all about? Give us some answers. This is gonna be an elevator, isn't it? Yeah. of corridors no explanation of anything
can't move that. So this is going to be like mainly puzzles. We haven't run into anything to do combat with. I don't seem to have any type of weapon to do combat with. Is this just going to be a very long series of gruesome puzzles? can't do anything here, so let's take the elevator back up. Oh, down. Not up. Alright. Nothing there. That. Let's go check what's over here. They almost look like pods or cocoons. They can't tell if there's anything inside of them. There's nothing here to grab. You would grab whatever goes there. Then if we go this way. You would then grab whatever is supposed to be here. Alright, there's nothing. There's another one of these though. See what happens if I do that. Ah. Okay. So that'll just absolutely saw and decimate whatever's in the chair. Some weird factory of some kind. This. Do I not have a thing to do anything with? I guess not. Okay. Find the lack of direction. Disturbing. And it's almost hard to determine what it is I can and can't interact with until I actually get close to it. What side is this on? It's just the next one over. Can I reach it? Let me go here. It's that arm thing. Uh, this looks like it's locked. supposed to get a creature of some kind? Do 
you do. can't go back the way that I came so whatever it is I'm supposed to do is here it's the elevator we took to go up that controls that machine done this part already This one open. That thing, don't know what it does. to have something inside of it. I'm supposed to be moving something along these tracks. Where it starts and ends though, I do not know. This track of you can always change directions with it too. So it almost feels like it comes from here. There's nothing to interact with over here. Like this is where whatever would come out. Do I myself have to get into the chair? Can't interact with the chair. Can I move this chair? it off there. But what? What goes 
What's in there? This is an area that it seems as though I can't get to. Is there something there? Is there a map or anything I can press? No. Yeah, we've been down this way already. And there was no way of getting back over here. this that's locked so maybe we just don't go back there just yet perhaps I need to go up to get this whole thing started maybe I need to get to that elevator this is right here here somewhere there it is I would have really liked a tutorial or some explanation on what I'm supposed to do This is the machine. Yeah, that brings whatever it is down. So let me see here. around. Thanks. Maybe I'm only supposed to take the ones with the light on them, though. These guys here. the light on them can't move. The case for this one too. Yeah, this one moves just fine. Yeah, no idea why that one can't move. So, let me just take one. Put it up there. It out. Now let's go to this one. Take that. Why did you not take it? Okay, apparently it's not that. Maybe it has to be this one. Move at all. 
Alright, that one does move. Let's see if I can grab that thing. change anything? Probably not. Well, there's one more with a light on it. See if this works. Let's go downstairs and see what uh, monstrosity we managed to pick up. people are supposed to figure out that that's what they're supposed to do is be on me. supposed to go because I don't know what this machine's going to do but that's where we're bringing you alright little buddy let's go I'm going to get you all fixed up it's, we're going to have a great time just 
gonna go right over here. It's right here. Okay. There you go. And I'm gonna see what this does. I don't know if we should grab it. He wasn't that fun. Actually, before I take you any further, let me just make sure. This is going where we need to go. I'm going to have to change this. Oh, no. We don't need you to go that way. We're on path. Yeah. We're going to go in there. I'm going to go see what that does to you. I feel like you're the only one that I can really... Yeah, I don't I think if I screw this up, I don't get another chance. So we're gonna make this perfect. I don't know what that thing actually did. Soften you up or just implanted something in there for these next things that we're gonna be doing. But let me tell you, we're definitely gonna be doing some things. Some things are going to be happening. It's going to be great. We'll, we'll have a fun time. It's all right. a thing to drop you into that chair. Yeah, it was. Put your little egg-shaped body right in there. You know what I think we're gonna we're gonna scoop you out. We're just gonna scoop you on out. It's like an ice cream scoop. hand in hand now with this hand I'm supposed to put this over here wait this thing there we go and now you've got yourself an implant one of us one of I can get this thing to hold open the door. All right, you go right here. If I do that, it holds. Then if I do this, it'll unlock. God, I figured it out. God, that took forever. How long have we been doing this already? Uh, an hour. It's taken an hour for me just to get this much progress. Oh, God, it's terrible. Maybe I'll edit some of it. It's a lot of just me lost.
over here with this big old pile of bodies is just hanging out here. figure out what this is first. Oh. Is that a gun? That's a gun. With an umbilical cord. So there is combat. Or I'm just supposed to shoot at things. Oh. Maybe this is more like a uh, tool than a gun. supposed to attack you. See what this does. Same thing on the other side.
instead of going through all of that, could just walk around to where it was at on the other side and walk through there. Because there's not really a machine there that's uh, spraying stuff. Less likely to get damaged and hurt walking this way. here looks like I'm probably supposed to go through that okay don't know where you want me to go then let me use the machine Maybe I was supposed to go that way. Maybe taking some of them out is all a part of it. Took out some. Let me use the machine. All right. Well, this is clearly controlled from a different angle. Then go back. Try the center. This thing? No. What the hell? Know where that goes. This is where we came in. sure all right well it's been long enough i'm just gonna end here um as far as puzzle games goes i like it when they have some form of direction to what you're supposed to be doing and this had none this took so long to figure out what i'm supposed to do and it didn't make it enjoyable at all 
And look, there's even a heal button here too. So I can do this and heal. No, apparently not. I need something for it. There's no guidance in the game. And I know I come from a generation of where games didn't explain how to play. They didn't always have tutorials. But that's not the case now. Now we have tutorials in games. Where you can add things in. Explain what you're supposed to do. Because now I've come to this point and I'm lost. And I don't like wasting my time going around trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do in order to get past that point. Sure, I can go on to Google or look it up through a YouTube video on how to get past these points, but I necessarily don't want to just stop playing the game to go look something up, unless I'm really, really stuck or I'm into the game. This is the beginning of the game. This is the point where kind of a make or break if I'm going to continue to play it or not. If it's not going to let me know what I'm supposed to do right at the beginning when I'm playing the game and I'm spending an hour trying to figure it all out, it's a deal breaker for me. That's way too long. I just wasted an hour figuring this out when I could be playing a game that I know how to play and doing that or getting into a different game. This just was a waste of time, and I'm disappointed. That's just, you know, me and my opinion. There could be other people who figured out what they were supposed to do right away, got through with no problems, and enjoyed the game. It didn't have any negative reviews on the Steam Store page. As a matter of fact, it's mostly positive on the Steam Store page in both recent reviews and all reviews. So this could be more of a user error and less of a game error but that's just my opinion anyways thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next spooky game goodbye